Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have seen that what is meant by power position of matrix and power column of the matrix. So today lecture, we are going to discuss the examples on power position and power columns of the matrix. So how to find power column and power position of the matrix? So let us start the first example. So first question. So your first example is locate. First question is locate. The pivot locate the pivot position locate the pivot position and pivot column locate pivot position and pivot column of a matrix of a matrix by using by using row reduce equivalent form. What do you mean by R R E F? The row is equivalent form. Look at the pivot position and pivot column of a matrix by using the row reduce equivalent form. So your matrix capital A becomes where where matrix capital A where matrix capital A is. Of a matrix capital A is your matrix capital A become first row become 1, 2, 3, 4. Are your first row? 1, 2, 3, 4. Second row become 4, 5, 6, 7, and third row become 6, 7, 8, 9. This matrix is of order 3 cross 4. Okay. This is your matrix. So your question become we have to find the pivot position and pivot column of a matrix by using row reduce equivalent form. Okay. What do you mean by your pivot position? When you have to reduce the matrix into in upper term matrix and you are getting it to become one and pivot column become those column contain the pivot position. Okay, this is your pivot column. So let me find the solution. So let Capital A equal to, let capital A equal to given matrix that is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is your first row. Second row is, so your given matrix is first row is 1, 2, 3, 4. Second row is 4, 5, 6, 7. And your third row becomes 6, 7, 8, 9. This matrix is of order 3 cross 4. That is 3 rows and 4 columns. Okay. Now, by using the elementary row transformation, we have to make this matrix into an upper term matrix. That means we have to make the, that 2 AD. We have to make that 2 AD is 0. So how to make that 2 AD is 0? So there is element is 4. How to make this 4? If we have to multiply the first row by minus 4, then plus 4 minus 4 after taking addition becomes 0. If we have to multiply the then in the third row, this end is 6. If we have to multiply the first row by minus 6, then this entry is minus 6 and this entry is plus 6. After taking addition, 6 minus 6 is 0. So what is your row operation? So your row operation becomes R2 minus 4 times R1 and R3 minus 6 times R1. What is your row operation? We have to that we entry is 0. So that R2 minus 4 times of R1 and R3 minus 6 times of R1. So your equivalence matrix becomes. So your equivalence matrix becomes. In equivalent matrix, order and then does not change. So your first row is your array, then you want to do 3, 4. Your second row, 4 minus 4. What is your row operation? R2 minus 4 times of R1. That is 4 minus 4 is 0. Again, R2 is 5. 4 into 2 is 8. And 4, 5 minus 8 is minus 3. Okay? Second is this 6 minus 4 into 3. 4 into 3 is 12. And 6 minus 12, that is your minus 6. What is last one? R2 is 7. 7 minus 4 into 4, that is 16. And 7 minus 16 is of the your minus 9. Right? 7 minus 16 is minus 9. Okay? So what is the third operation? R3 minus 6 times of R1. 6 minus 6, 0. 6 minus 6, 0. Next one is 7. R3 is 7 minus 6 into 6 into 2, that is 12. And 7 minus 2 is become 5, right? 
Next, answer is 8. 8 minus 6 into 3, that is 18. And 8 minus 18, that is minus 10, right? Next is, answer is 9. 9 minus 6 into 4, that is 24, right? So, 9 minus 24, that is your minus 15, right? So, this is your third is minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, okay? Now, next, row we have to make, we have to make that in this 1. We have to make that second row of the gene in this 1. So, how to make that in this 1? Divide R2 by minus 3. So, here is new row operation. So, R2 by minus 3, that means minus R2 by 3. So, your equivalence matrix, so your equivalence matrix become your first row as it is, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, divide second row by minus 3, then 0 upon minus 3, 0. Minus 3 upon minus 3 become 1. Minus 6 upon minus 3, that is your plus 2, right? Minus 9 upon minus 3 become your plus 3. What is your third row operation? Your third row is as it is. Third row is 0, minus 5, minus 10, and minus 15. So next row operation, we have to make that it is 0. What is your operation? We have to make that third row of second row is 0. Because your leading entry is of that below entry, leading entry in your second column is 1, or leading entry in your second row is 1, and below the that entry, you have to make it 0. Because you have to operate in row reciprocal form. What is the row reciprocal form? We have to make below the diagonal entry are 0. So this is your diagonal entry, is, we have to make the first, first diagonal entry 1, below the diagonal entry 0. In your second row, diagonal entry is 1. So we have to make that entry is 1. And below that entry 0. So we have to make that minus 5 is 0. So what is your row operation? R3, here is minus 5. To be able to multiply the second row by plus 5, the minus 5 plus 5 become 0. So R3 plus 5 times R2. So your equivalence matrix becomes, so your equivalence matrix becomes, first row is 1, 2, 3, 4, second row is 0, 1, 2, 3, and third row is 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. I mean minus 5, and then minus 5 plus 5 times of R2. Minus 5 plus 5 is 0. I mean R3 is minus 10. R3 is minus 10. Plus 5 into 2. 5 into 2 is 10. And minus 10 plus 10 is 0. Right? I mean R3 is minus 15. Plus 5 into R2 is 3. 5 into 3 is 15. And minus 15 plus 15 is 0. So we get third row is 0. Okay? So in that your equivalence matrix, we have to find the pivot position and pivot column. So in your matrix, what is your pivot position? So pivot position, pivot position is, what is your pivot position? That means your leading entry 1 is present, that entry, that position is called a pivot position. What is pivot position? Leading entry is 1, leading entry 1 present that position. It's called as power position. So in your first row, getting entry 1, present that one position. And your second row, getting entry present at position 2, comma 2. So power position is 1, comma 1 and 2, comma 2. This is your power position. And that power position is in which column? In your first column and second column. Therefore, power position is 1, 1 and 2, 2. And, and power column, and power column. Pivot column is 1 and 2. Okay? So, here pivot column. So, pivot column becomes R1 and 2. This is your pivot column. So, pivot position is 1, 1 and 2, 2. Okay? So, next, now I will take one more example. Same question. 